Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with srlounge.com. All right, guys, we're going to go over the history panel in this left panel in our develop module now. I have selected exercise file 2 17 just for the examples that we're going to do here. And what we're going to do is first expand the history panel by hitting Control Shift and its number, which is 3, to expand it. And that's Command Shift 3 on a Mac. Now what the history panel is, is it's just basically storing a history of all the adjustments that we're making to whatever image that we're on. So basically if I go to the develop module, which I'm in right now, and I hit Control 1 to expand my basic panel, every adjustment that I make, if I drag up the exposure slider and let go, gets recorded into this history panel. So if I, let's say I darken my shadows, I increase my highlights, uh, I increase my whites, I darken my blacks, I add clarity, I do some vibrance to it, all these adjustments are getting recorded right to my history panel. Now what's nice about this is that it allows me to go back anywhere in my history just by clicking on it. So if I click back on the highlights, I've undone basically all of these different things and I can click back through each individual one so I can go back to any recorded point in my history just by simply clicking on it. Now the history panel is something that I don't frequently use and that's mainly because it's so quick for me just to reset something out and add in the settings back again to where I want. Uh, but if you do find it useful in your workflow, just know that you can use the history panel to get back to any point in your processing workflow on a particular image. So if we right click, we have an option that we can create a snapshot actually from where we are in that history panel. We can also copy this history setting to before, which does the exact same thing as it did in snapshots, where now when we hit the before the backslash button on our keyboard, it shows that history step in the before setting. We can also clear out the history just by clicking on the X and saying clear all. So now we've cleared all the history steps for this image. I'm now going to hit reset and reset actually gets recorded in the history as well. So whatever, doesn't really matter. <laughs> Let's go on to the next tutorial guys. And uh, we've already talked about collections in the library panel. This works the exact same way in the develop module. It just allows you to basically get to whatever collection you want quickly without having to go back to the library panel. So let's move on to the copy and paste settings in the next tutorial.